This is a fancy and expensive 3090 from Gigabyte, codename Vision. Don't confuse this with a Vision from Iron Man, because if it was, it would have been a lot smarter and not end up on my table as a result. And with that said, hello internet, today we have this 3090 from Gigabyte that according to its owner, suddenly gave him black screen. Despite the price tag of this and other fancy GPUs on the market, they all bleed the same but from a different hole. It would be nice if I could put this on my head and get a vision of what's wrong with it, but I guess I have to go with the old school and take it apart. We start with the short finder, and immediately these two fuses are not short, but the 12 volt line is. Leaving me to believe that one of the driver MOSFETs died, causing the fuses to blow and hopefully saving the GPU. Upon visual inspection, one such driver MOSFET looks like it could have been blown, but there's only one way to make sure. It is to supply voltage to the board with a limited current and see what gets warm. For that, I will be using my phone and this Infiray camera, which I purchased with my own money, right before the company offered me a free one in exchange for a review. Perfect timing if you ask me. Anyway, before powering the board, I need to replace these two fuses, otherwise there will be no current flowing anywhere, so I'll do that first. And then, once this is fixed, with the current limit set, I'll power the board and start aimlessly pointing this thing around the board, hopefully uh, something's gonna show up. And after doing that for a while and not finding anything right away, I will pop the micro lens on this camera, very handy by the way, and start looking up close. And yes, the suspected driver MOSFET is indeed blown and we need to replace it. This is a common point of failure that just happens for no reason at all. So let's replace this one and see if that helps. Okay, driver MOSFET is replaced, resistances appear to be normal, so let's power it on and see if it blows up. Nothing blew up this time, all voltages look good, so let's plug this thing into a computer and see if it boots. Perfect, we got a picture. While Windows is doing its magic thing to load the drivers, I will go ahead and quickly check for all the power stages to make sure that there are no hidden problems. And with that there, quick test with the Dalek confirm the fix, so let's put this thing back together and run some more serious tests. Not long after, screen went black. And the moments like this, I really wish I had a power of vision to know what the problem is, but all I have is experience, so I'll just wiggle the HDMI cable and the image came back. Meaning there must be dirt or corrosion inside the port, so I will clean that up and try again. No problems this time, it's been running steady for a while as you can see. I even went as far as kicking some Nazi's ass on the Call of Duty. And uh, that should be it for this repair. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys have learned something today, and if so, hit me with the like button, comment, and subscribe for more repairs. Goodbye!